Hello, and welcome again to the Bermuda Day 2021 Mini Float Challenge. And today we're gonna to discuss upcycled art and upcycled float. You can see in front of me, I have a whole bunch of recycled supplies that we've been able to pull together. We have boxes, plastic bags, paper toilet rolls, bottles, other plastics, tin foil, and paint. We even have cardboard and some sea plastics. These are all very useful in their different ways to create different textures and heights. You can use the more malleable products like this cardboard to bend it, cut it, and shape into all kinds of organic shapes. Cardboard and newspaper especially are really good for that, but in some cases you can also use plastic bags that are stuffed and have tape over them. So if you're looking for something a bit more architectural, you could use a cardboard box or cardboard pieces to create the height and shape that you're looking for. So let's think about texture and color. Here we have the sea turtle that we created last time. And in this case, we wanna think about what kind of textures this shell gonna have and what color. In this case, we're going to use some recycled sea plastic that we have. So here we could create color and texture onto the shell by simply hot gluing some plastics to the surface. Well, let's talk about his head. Another thing that we could do is again, using the sea plastics, we could be building up on his face. Let's think about his eye. We could give him a bottle cap for an eye and it would be very fitting and really fit into the whole recycling nature of this particular float. So when using recycled supplies, you can just use anything that you have around your house. Here we have some burlap, you may not have that. You could use fabric, you could use an old sheet, a t-shirt. Here's a cereal box that we're using. We're just using things that we can find and I have a glue gun because that's definitely going to be a very helpful tool. Now, let's say we wanted to make a gombe mask. Here we've done it three different ways. We have the burlap, which has actually been sewn to a wire frame. And this one has felt decorations on it. But what if you don't have that? Not a problem. We also have um, a fabric here where it's just all been colored and we've just used a crayon. In this case, we've used cut paper on our gombe mask. And as you can see, this doesn't actually have to hold any weight. So in order to get it to stand up, all we've used on the back of this one is cardboard and popsicle sticks behind paper. And this is just an old piece of cardboard that's been used to give it some strength and some height. Here we have a much loved tool here at Kaleidoscope. It's the paper towel roll. And it is so diverse. There's many things that we can do or build with it. You can make crab claws. You can make something that has some height to it. If you cut into the bottom of it, you can give it little feet so it'll have some stability and it can stand. In this case, I've actually made a flower. And all I've done is I've cut it and then I've cut the petals and we are going to eventually make this into a Bermudiana. And you can see that I've used tape, scissors, and just a simple toilet roll. Here we have a gorgeous little family of crabs. And they were all created just using cardboard, bottle caps. This one here, he's just using cardboard and he's just using a sculpture method of just slotting pieces together. This particular one, is made using a paper plate and some egg cartons. Here we have one that has been made out of a little bowl, some bottle caps, and the crab claws have been made out of paper towel rolls. This lovely one was created just using layers upon layer of cardboard. And they're slotted in and hot glued. So you can see from a range of the same material, you can create all different kinds of even just a crab. Here we have an upcycled coral reef. We've used various different supplies to create this and they're very diverse. So let's just deconstruct some of these things. 
We have the C fan, which has been made using just a branch and some old window screen. And then we spray painted that purple. The C anemone was created using a plastic cup and a paper toilet roll. And then that was spray painted purple and you have a lovely C anemone. You need it to have some weight. You could also put something inside of that so it has a little bit more support. The brain coral is just a brown paper bag with some yarn glued on top. It's been stuffed. But let's talk about my friend, the hermit crab. He was created just using a plastic cup, the lip of the plastic cup, a paper toilet roll, and tin foil. And you can use the tin foil over the lid edge, and it becomes a hermit crab leg. So there's various different things you can use. Really experiment and have fun with it. Use color and definitely texture. You will find with tin foil especially, or tape, that it is very malleable and you can move it in different ways as you need to pose things. So definitely keep that in mind when you're creating something for a scene. So have fun putting this together. Please use as many different recycled supplies as you can. Try to create texture, height, color, and just try to have fun with it and create magical scenes. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment below or directly message us. We want to take this opportunity to thank the Department of Culture for sponsoring this series.